I'm asked if, if, if this is a particular critical time. I mean, every time's critical. It always seems to, that the next battle is the most important one, and that's the way, the way, the way of life, and um, that's the way it'll always be. The next battle always will seem the most important one. But um, no, I don't think it's particularly critical at the moment. I mean, I think there's obviously, we, we, you have to just keep up a certain level of pressure. I do believe that we, we, we have we have won a lot of consciousness. I mean, compared to when I started this newspaper in 1986, I can tell you there's a hell of a lot more consciousness here, th here now than there was then. Uh, and I talk not so much, obviously, about the sort of people of my own ilk and my own, uh, my own who, who are coming from the same sort of place that I am, but just out there in the, in the, in the high street and, and uh, in, in the middle of the road uh, sort of people who are living, uh, living here. There's a lot more consciousness about the environment now. There's a lot. Uh, there are lots le le less likely to just allow things to to, to, to happen one way or another. Uh, uh, there's a lot more awareness. I think people are a lot more educated. Uh, I think that's going to continue. Um, there, will, there will always be robust uh, uh, differences of opinion. There will always be different thoughts and different uh, different attitudes, quite naturally. But I I don't see that at this particular juncture. In 1996, that, uh, that 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 we're in a in a desperately critical situation. Uh, apart from the fact that the planet itself, of course, is 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 in a is in a, uh, a a very critical situation. I mean, I mean, outside this shire, and this is where one can perhaps uh, fall into complacency. Uh, of course, uh, we may have won a few battles in this shire, uh, which have been spectacularly lost elsewhere on the planet. And uh, and so, certainly on a global level, I think I think uh, it's ever more critical. But on a, on a local level in Bar and Shire, no, I don't. And perhaps I'm being complacent. In which case, somebody should come along. I'm waiting for some young Turk to come along and turf me out, and uh, throw me in the river and take over. Uh, I'm 47 now. I, uh, I'm fat and ugly and. Uh, I started the paper with lots of energy in the 30s, and inevitably I, I don't have that same energy that I had 10 years ago. I've drunk far too much claret and, and uh, misbehaved myself to far too great a degree in the last 10 years. So um, uh, I'm waiting for uh, the next generation to come and take over. The change, that, the, the change that's taking place here is certainly critical. Uh, it's always critical. It's critical in that sense. Um, but. Uh, I drive down to Ballina and I think, my God, you know, what the hell is going on down here? What the hell is going on down here? That's critical. That's really critical. And uh, you drive up to, to the Tweed and uh, the same thing um, along the coast. Uh, it's not as bad as Ballina that I can see, but it's, there's still some awful stuff going on. And then you drive up to the Gold Coast. I mean, if you drive the back of the Gold Coast, I mean, just up the main road to Brisbane, but if you start diving around all those suburbs at the back of the Gold Coast, I mean, the Gold Coast is one thing. All right, you know, you've got your 50 miles of, of sleaze and motels and, 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 uh, and high rise and, and all those things. And it can be fun. I can go and have a bit of fun up there now and again. You, can, you know, go gambling. You, you, there's, there's, there's some good food to be had up there. There's, um, uh, there's some, probably some good company to be had up there. It's a different way of life. There's people who like that. But then you go into the hinterland of the Gold Coast, and that's horror. That is Horrorsville. That is that is just a recreation of the western suburbs of Sydney, which of course is you know what the worst thing that can happen here. And really, you know, in all fairness, I mean, I, I, I uh, at, at risk of being called uh, complacent or uh, or, or being uh, uh, a deserter to the great fight that we have fought for the last decade, I say that in actual fact, in this shire, we are very very lucky to have with been been, been able to withhold the. Um, the path of uh, the, the forces of destruction to the, to, the, to the point that we have. That's not to say the forces of destruction aren't still there and that eternal vigilance isn't necessary to, uh, to make sure that they don't, uh, they don't uh, leap back into the, into, the, uh, into the act as soon as they can. But by and large, by and large, we have, if you compare us, as I say, to Balna, Coffs Harbour, God knows where else in the country, in the world, uh, we have succeeded. To an extent, never enough. We've never succeeded enough. No, uh, if we'd never, none of us had ever come here, that might have been a success. 